<laughs> so I'll end with this. Two days ago, Donald Trump was here in North Carolina. <laughs> he said he was going to talk about the economy. <laughs> I think you all watched. You know what I'm about to say. But he offered no serious plans to reduce costs for middle class families. No plan to expand access to housing or health care. And that actually, I think for most of us, was not surprising. Because we already know his plans. We know the Project 2025 agenda. So there's a choice in this election. Donald Trump's plans to devastate the middle class, punish working people, and make the cost of living go up for millions of Americans. And on the other hand, when I'm elected president, what we'll do, what we will do to bring down costs, increase the security and stability financially of your family, and expand opportunity for working and middle class Americans. So now, 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 is the time to chart a new way forward. Now is the time to chart a new way forward. To build. Everyone's work is rewarded and talents are valued. Where we work with labor and business to strengthen the American economy. And where everyone has the opportunity, not just to get by, but to get ahead. So I thank you, North Carolina. We're going to get this done. And with your help, God bless you and God bless the United States of America. God bless you.